Welcome back, friends, to more Lord of the Rings Online. No introduction, let's go. I want to keep playing. We're going to be working on the epic storyline here. We're headed to the Ford. That way we can help train some people and also defeat some sentries. Didn't I just do a quest to defeat sentries? I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. Either way, we'll kill more. It's no matter. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. There's a sentry. Let me fight her. And looks like there is another sentry right there too. I'll just throw a couple more javelins that way and she should die pretty soon. There we go. All right. That was very lazy of me. I should have just run up or switched to ranged stance. But ain't nobody got time for that, man. Good pup. Screwed up some gambits here. That's okay. This is the last one. Perfect. Alright, now... What's going on here? Summon Rohirrim soldiers and destroy the crude barricades? Interesting, okay. This is River Watch. What did this do? I don't think it did much. Alright. Oh, never mind. There they are. They're all like rushing up the seal here. I just want to fight my way in here and kill everybody. Got a big army by my side. Very fun. Yeah, there's gonna be a ton of people here. So, I'll let them deal with these archers and I'll go ahead and just grab some of these. There we go. Excellent. Where are these barricades? Let me see. There are some. We destroy all of these. I bet the next part of the quest is going to make me go kill all those people up there. I hope not. So I've already done that. All right. What are these guys doing? They're like charging at me. Okay, summon the Rohirrim soldiers at the Western Gate and defeat Nalem. As suspected. Hopefully he has respawned by now. Ah, oh, that's not good. How do I get him back? How do I get them to... There we go. Alright, so they disappeared. 
I guess I'll do a little bit of editing. I'll wait around until they respawn. Dang it. All right. Fine. There we go. That didn't... I might not even have to edit. That was very quick. There we are. Perfect. All right. Next up. Let me go to the Ford. I'm just gonna fall. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't have the patience to run down gently. Let me see where I'm headed here. Probably somewhere there in the middle. Towards that encampment. I'll do a little swimming, I don't mind. Okay. These men need to be stronger. I need to make them stronger. We are the only defense between Saruman's evil and the people of Rohan. Find a warrior and an archer and fight with them, Kippen. Perhaps your example will teach them something. I am ready to show you the strength of my arm. I have sharpened my skill against many of my kinsmen. Now let me sharpen them further. I am ready for you, Warden. Well, there we go. Alright, he stunned me. Alright. He's got a little bit of skill. Thank you for this melee, my friend. You have helped strengthen the Rohirrim Footman. If you believe you can best me in training, prove it is so. I have been the victor of many competitions, Kippen. Few can boast as swift an arrow or as true. I am ready for you. You have bested me, my friend. You have helped strengthen the Rohirrim Archer. Well, what do you think of their abilities? Are they made of stern enough stuff to stand against the forces of Saruman you beheld within Isengard? Athelar sighs heavily. It will have to do. You should find Rungar and help him with the training of his riders. He is just north of Grimbold's camp. Okay. Let's go back towards the camp. But before I turn in these quests, I do want to speak with Rungar first. To the north. Can't believe I'm level 80, man. I've come a very long way. 40 levels shy of the cap. My men are practicing a technique to help them fight from horseback. A technique that will snare their opponents. With careful aim, my men ensnare their enemy's large legs with a thrown net. It will keep them, the foemen, from attacking until our footmen can close the distance. Gather up the nets they have already thrown and bring them to me, Kippen, and I will give them to new riders. This is something they must master if we are to be as effective as we must be. They're practicing pretty hard out here. Okay. Very good. Their skill throwing the nets is improving with each pass. Once they have mastered it, we will be better prepared to face any unmounted foe that comes. Deodred will wish to see you. He's somewhere in the camp to the south, I expect. Tell my prince that the riders are becoming more skilled at the technique he suggested, and that I have some craftsmen working on more nets. Alright. Perfect.
So Grimbold. Our mission is dire. You have taken the River Watch. Well done, Kippen. We will soon secure the fort against anything Dunlan can send against us. The Dunlindings are testing our resolve to hold Dole Baron, a great hill to the west, but they underestimate us. We must hold that position, or we will be blind to the approach of the main force when it marches out of Wolf's Cliff. If that happens, we may have to pull back across the ford without a fight. Aid my men by the fortifications and hold off the Dunlindings. If we can force them to give up on Dol Baron and march their army past it, we will have a critical advantage in the battle to come. Alright. Am I missing a quest? Did I lose one in the tracker somewhere? No, I think we're good. Alright. Where's Theodred? There he is. We need every man to be ready, for what I have in mind is dangerous. Your needs is welcome, my friend. We need every man to be ready for what I have in mind is dangerous, but the reward, should we prevail, could be significant. If we wait until Saruman's army is ready, we cannot hope to hold the fort against him. We do not have the men. The report of the size of Saruman's force has a much larger than I feared. If we can catch him before he is ready, we might strike such a blow that his force will be sent into disarray. He is wise, yes. And the wise man is... And, and is the wise man not cautious? He will see that we have taken him by surprise, and he will retreat behind his walls, and he will continue to grow his army until he is certain that we cannot oppose him. Every day that goes by is a day in our favor. The size of his army is of no account as long as it stays within Isengard. Let it stay there forever. We must make him uncertain enough of his success that he never moves it. That is my proposal. If we are still willing to help us, Grimbold has asked that you ride with him. So he's planning a preemptive strike. Interesting. Even though our forces are very small right now. Prince Theodred's plan is a daring one. But there is wisdom in it. He is like his father in this. He does not shy away from using strength when it is necessary. I would like you by my side during this strike, Kippen. We will plant the seed of doubt in Saruman's mind and he may think twice before sending his army forth. Prince Theodred's plans are set forth on the map table. We begin at dawn. Study them to acquaint yourself, Kippen. We will begin at dawn on the 25th. We will strike Saruman hard and fast and use his own caution against him. So long as he thinks his army is not ready to march and must remain behind the walls of Isengard, it will be of no threat to Rohan. Okay. Let me go look at the map. You study the maps placed upon the table and consider Theodred's plan. First, he must determine what defenses to leave at the Fort of Isen. Then he will ride north to Isengard with a host of riders. The attack will begin at dawn. Dawn came swiftly on the 25th of February, as my prince prepared to conduct his daring strike. I hope you have awakened refreshed, Kippen. I doubt not that this will be a long day. I have a few matters left undone which must be resolved, then we will ride. I will need many men at my side at Isengard, but we must not leave the ford undefended. Who did you have in mind to command the riders we leave behind? Kada was my first choice. His brother Edwig already spoke to me, desiring a place in our host. Their mother is old, and if our attack on Isengard goes ill, I would not deprive her of both her sons. Come, Kippen. We will tell Kistun to deliver this message. My Prince. Prince Theodred, may fortune smile on us this day. If it does not, we will make our own fortune, my friend. Kistun, is everything alright? What are you looking for? My prince, it is nothing. I misplaced one of my bracers. That is all. It will turn up, I am sure. I need you to cross to the east bank with a message for Kada. Tell him he is to remain here with his men and to hold the fort against whatever may come. Mm -mm. 
You want him to stay here? I will tell him, but he will not like it. Kata is a man of Rohan and will understand what is needed of him. I will not advance through the front gate to victory while leaving the postern gate open to the enemy. Someone must stay and hold the fort in the event that I have misjudged Saruman's mind. Theodred lowers his voice to address you quietly. You should go with Kata to deliver my words, Kippen. We should go with Kinston to deliver my words, Kippen. He is untested by battle, and the men see him as a green boy. Kata will be less bristly towards my esquire if you are there as well. I need a word with Athelard before we go. He is not pleased at the quality of the spears we have, but it is too late to make more. They will have to suffice. Athelard, where are you? Tell me why these spears are unsatisfactory. I hope you don't mind getting your feet wet again, Kippen. Kata is on the east bank of the river, and the stones can be treacherous. This way. You have seen some battles, Kippen? Of course you have. May I ask you a question? You have come a long way from your homeland, Kippen, and you have been in a great deal of danger. These battles of which you got fought, when they were embroiled when you were embroiled in the thick of them, were you frightened? I cannot ask of the men. They would think me a coward. But I'm already frightened, and we have yet begun to march. Well, I will be with Theodred, and he has never known fear. I could not bear to bring shame upon my family or my prince. Thank you for listening, friend. I will follow your example and not give in to these doubts. Kara, are you here? You are to remain here with your men to hold the ford. It is the will of the prince. I should not be left behind. My place is at the front of the column with my prince. Kata's eyes flash angrily at you from beneath the rim of his helmet. I will do as I command, as I am commanded, but I wish it were not necessary. My men will hold the fort against whatever comes, as my prince desires. But I think if we wait here uselessly while our brothers and our friends ride into battle against the armies of Saruman, I understand the need for it, but I chafe at the need to do not what and do not want to sit here in idleness while the prince Theodred rides into danger. Gather to me, men of Rohan. We have our orders, my friends, my brothers. Our prince rides forth to see the enemy with his own eyes. He leaves the defense of his home and his people in the hands of those he trusts. Our hands. We will not fail him. We will protect Rohan. Nay, we will not fail him. Let none pass into Rohan. We are the last defense of its people. That is all. I did tell the prince that Kata would not be happy about staying here. You heard me tell him that. I'm going to stay here for a few minutes and see if I can find the missing bracer. You should come across the fort again and tell the prince that the fort will be defended while we are away. Alright, let's go. All is ready then, Kata will hold the east bank of the ford with the men at his command, and the rest of us will ride north to Isengard. The Arid will follow my lead, and Grimbold will dismount and command the foot as we prepare a separate unit of the terrain off the road warrants it. Athelard will call the mark for his archers. It will be some hours before we are in sight of Isengard, and it's best we get started. Mount your steed, Kippen, and talk to Grimbold. Let us ride together, Kippen. Let us bring the news of our defense to Saruman himself. Then we ride for Isengard. Prince Theodred left riders at the ford of Isen to guard the passage into Rohan, and he went north with a second group to Isengard. Let's see what's happening here. It is a pleasant morning for riding, Kippen. If it stays thus, we will be at Isengard by midday and have brought Saruman to heal not long after. 
Let us catch up to the prince and get a good view of the road ahead. Ha! Huh. This is pretty epic, riding with the Rohirrim. Although they do ride a little slow. My prince, what is the word from ahead? We will know soon. I sent Hildred on ahead to scout the road. We are nearly there, Kippen. I can smell the stench of Isengard even from here. Look, he returns to us. Prince Theodred. There are orcs and half orcs outside the walls, but their number is not great. We have taken the wizard unawares. Perhaps. Do not celebrate yet, Hildred. The battle is still unfought. The news lightens my heart, but we must not forget that Saruman is devious. The strike will remind him that we are not lightly set aside and that he is not immune to attack. Any more than that is more than I expect. The dawn has passed. It will be midday. When we move to the next stage of my plan. Ready yourself for what comes next, Kippen. We have several hours right ahead of us, Kippen. Then we will fall. Then we will see if Saruman is prepared to face me in battle. Or if he will cower behind his walls in perpetual caution. Okay. He studied the maps placed on the table and considered Theodred's plan. Once he has come within sight of Isengard, he will order his men to attack orcs arrayed outside the walls. He thinks to arrive outside Isengard by midday. Theodred came to the gates of Isengard by midday, and the Uruks arrayed before him readied for his assault. We lined up, ready to charge. Hildred spoke true. There are orcs outside the walls, but their number should not be a problem for us, Kippen. Let us see what they think of my riders. Rohirrim. Our foes lie before us. See them assembled outside their walls. Grimbold, have your archers send our greetings to Saruman. With pleasure, my prince. Archers, come forward. Volley! Grimble, take Kippen and attack from their flank while our riders harry them. We will cut through the brush on the side of the road, Kippen, and attack our enemy's flank. This way, Kippen on foot. Look, the riders have begun their attack. Do you hear that, Kippen? Someone comes. Get ready. That was not all of them, Kippen. Stay alert. More half-orcs approach. Archers from hiding. Here comes another, and it sounds like a big one. Grimbold, Kippen. Prince Theodred has routed the enemy. Victory is ours. Kippen, Grimbold, come with me, and we will send them howling back into the Ring of Isengard. We will send them back to Saruman. Our victory was short lived. All was still as the gates of Isengard swung open. Out boiled a mighty force of Saruman's Uruks. They sought to surround us, and Theodred ordered a retreat.
Not looking good now. We are outnumbered, Kippen. The prince has ordered a retreat, but first we must survive the attack. Our riders have managed to net some of our foes. Attack the netted Uruks and keep them from breaking through. I will need to drive some of the others away. This is our chance. We have to retreat now. Are you Kippen? You are. We have to get out of here. Shouts of despair and cries of terror rise from the pockets for Ohirim still fighting for their lives. The archer looks at you with fear in his eyes and throws his bow down in the dust. The day is lost. There are too many Uruks. The men begin to break in the road back to the ford and all sense of order is lost as the Uruks gather on all sides. You study the maps on the table and consider Theodred's plan. If all goes well, the prince should have victory by the afternoon. If all goes well. We formed up between Theodred and our foes, fighting for our lives and his. There seemed to be no end to the Uruks. This is far enough, Kippen. Let us turn and face our pursuers. We must give Prince Theodred some time to move further south. We have to give Prince Theodred time. To retreat, Kippen. Do not let them through. Here they come. Push them back. Do not give up hope. Stand your ground. Die. Hold the line, men. We must fall back. Hurry. More foes from the flank. Stand your ground, Kippen. We must spy the prince the time that we can. Be done with you. We are doing well, Kip, and every second we give Prince Theodred is a second unwasted. So long as we stand, Rohan stands with us. Oh no. Edwig has taken a grievous blow. The time for fighting is over. Run! There is no victory here. We have to run. These Rohirrim are getting cut down. This is not good. They will be on us in moments, Kippen. Let me gather the men about us and ready them for the last assault. Gather to me, Saruman's hammer stroke will soon be upon us. Our prince has gotten to safety, but we cannot allow this force to reach him. Captain, a rider approaches. What? Captain, a second force of Uruks has come to the fort in secret. Kadar has been driven back into Rohan. Prince Theodred is in danger. A thousand curses upon Saruman. He sent a second force of Uruks to the fort on the other side of the river. We have to get back to the prince at once. Without Kadar at the fort, Prince Theodred cannot drive them off with the few men that he has in his party. We cannot die here. We have to get back to the ford at once to save Prince Theodred. He will be caught between the hammer and the anvil of Saruman. The Uruks pursued us as we fled, and the riders Theodred left at the ford were driven away by their onslaught. The prince was forced onto the island in the middle of the river, attacked from both sides, and we could not reach him. All seemed lost.
So I'm gonna leave you guys at a bit of a cliffhanger here. The battle started out well enough, but now the tide seems to have turned and it seems like everything is in peril. The prince is in grave danger. We'll find out what happens next time, so thanks for watching and see you then.